Wine has a deep and lengthy history around the world, dating back thousands of years. It has been enjoyed and perfected in many countries and made not only from grapes, but also blackberries, raspberries, pomegranates, and others. France, Japan, Germany, and the United States are just a few of the locations where the finest wines are created. Even Nebraska has been determined to have excellent soil to grow the most delectable of grapes. Wines are served at dinner, at special tasting parties, and most especially during holiday feasts. This set of wine glasses and decanter starts its journey in Germany in the mid-1800s. Romer glass is well known for its unique greenish-hued coiled stem and is named for the Romans who first introduced wine grapes to Germany in 300 to 400 AD. Originally dubbed forest glass, it gets its color from a mixture of forest sand and potash. The bowls are hand-painted and show intricate designs of grapes, vines, and gold leaf. The glass at the top is also green, proving that it is an early example of these unique glasses. According to connoisseurs, the color was off-putting and so later changed to a clear version instead. The tray is hand-carved with a dark wood stain in a tiered fashion that places the large bowl in the middle, which would hold several bottles of wine at a time. This set was purchased in 1966 at an antique show in San Francisco. However, according to the information received from the original owner, the glasses were purchased at Maximilian Court in, the Me in Mexico sometime in the 1800s. The set would have originally included 12 glasses and the decanter, however only 10 glasses remain in the set. A newspaper article about the antique auction features the set and shows a photo of the set and a woman holding one of the glasses. The glasses were brought to Grand Island and acquisitioned by Stewart Museum in 1980. Whether for a large and extravagant party or a small wine tasting with friends, this setup of glasses remain as an example of unique and precise craftsmanship. As you are raising a glass this holiday season with your family and with loved ones, be sure to make a toast to those who are quarantined and alone this season. Be safe and have a lovely Thanksgiving.